All right, guys, so we are now getting ready to do the programming of our new Tank 95 analog, right? So let me get back to splitting the screen up here. And remember, if you remember correctly, this is where we're at. Everything's set up and ready to go. Now it's time to do the beta flight, to do the BL Heli, to get the XM, or sorry, the M Plus Archer Edition set up with the radio and do all those kind of things. So what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and point to the uh, website. <clears throat> so let's just say you're sitting here and you're at the cycle and FPV page. Okay. So I've given you some downloads. Obviously if you're watching this video already on FPV professor, but I'm going to click here and get to the same page you're at. Actually, I could probably click right here. All right. Let me click right here. So on the FPV professor page, uh, fpvprofessor.com, if you go to drone kits and videos, you're going to see this downloads link right here. If you click that, you're gonna see these software, the packages that you can download, okay? So you've got Beta Flight, this is what you wanna download. So if we were gonna click that, you would click that one, and there's a whole video series on this, so I'm not gonna put it in this one because this is strictly for the build. Assuming you've already downloaded these. If you haven't downloaded them, scroll to the bottom of this uh, video tutorial series, and at the bottom there, there is uh, there's the video links for how to do Beta Flight, how to do BL Heli, and, and so forth, okay? Um, so we're gonna assume we've done all this already. Now what we wanna do is, and I've also included as of today, some free sky links that are gonna help you if you haven't done some of the free sky work either, okay? So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna assume you've already downloaded beta flight and installed it. So I'm gonna launch beta flight from here, all right? And I'm going to split this screen and I'm gonna leave the drone here now and take my ugly face off. And um, I will, let me preface this by saying that as you can see right here in the top corner, you have the update firmware button and you have the connect button. Because I'm overlaying this, those buttons are going to be covered. So just know that those that's where they are when I click on them, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug our drone in. So let me go ahead and do that here real quickly. And just be gentle about it because you can break these USB ports and that is not covered. So please just be gentle with them. Uh, if you have to take off your prop guard on the front, if it's in the way too much, my USB port's pretty thin, so I can do that's okay. So as you can see right here, it says Omnibus F4, right? Now, I don't remember, I don't think I've updated this one yet, but uh, I'm gonna show you something. If I click connect, right? And I scroll down here, down to the CLI. Oh, I think maybe I already did this though. Hmm, I can't remember. So let me, I'm just gonna type version. Under the CLI, I'm gonna type version and I'm gonna, no, I, I haven't done this. Okay, so remember guys that um, there was an error if you're running uh, beta flight, the new version, there is an error here where if you go to update the firmware, right? You click that button. Remember that it's the button. Uh, let me, let me, it's the button that's right here. So just to make sure you understand when I click update firmware and I click connect, it's these two here. So please make sure if you hear me say that, but you don't see the buttons, that's because they're hidden behind the picture. I'm very sorry about that, but for right now, that's the way it's gonna be. All right, so we're gonna drop down to we find Omnibus at four. We're gonna make sure we have the newest version. We're gonna make sure that all this is set just like this. All right, make sure it looks the same. Then we're gonna click load firmware online. Now pay attention to what happens. If I click flash firmware, okay, you see how it says initiating reboot to, re to bootloader, and it says I'm in the DS DFU STM32 bootloader, but nothing's happening. We're not getting it to flash. That is a glitch in here. To get past that, you're gonna have to close beta flight back down. You're gonna have to reopen beta flight, okay? And then remember behind our picture at the top right here, you're gonna click update firmware again. Wait for it to populate. And now click flash firmware and it'll automatically start, okay? So you're good to go with that. So let's let it flash real quick and then it's gonna be done. It's gonna get going here. So we're gonna let it erase. Let me just do this real quick. All right, guys, so while it's doing that, we can see the progression there. Uh, it's flashing right now. So a couple things to keep in mind is, again, if you haven't done your beta flight, if you haven't done your BL Heli, if you haven't done your drivers, all those things are in separate videos. You can find those links at the bottom. There's also a troubleshooting section at the bottom there or at the top, I think it says, if you have any problems, click here for the troubleshooting and you'll see all these common things like, hey, I don't have my drivers, I can't get the uh, flight controller to load uh, the firmware and all those things. So make sure to check that out. But if you do have a question, you'll also see a link where you can reach out to me and I'll be more than happy to help you. Now, in this video here, I am gonna be using the X9 Lite. The same rules are gonna apply if you're using a uh, 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 QX7, for example, or something like that. But because the X or the M Plus is in this, we're running Access now and not ACCST, just so that you know. All right, so here we go. Let's get back to what we're doing. Okay, it says programming is successful. So now we're gonna go ahead and click connect and we're gonna click apply custom defaults, okay? 
and then we're gonna go ahead and click connect again and we're gonna have this warning here and it's gonna say that our protocol for our motors isn't set up and our accelerometer isn't enabled. All right, so let's go ahead, I mean, is enabled but not calibrated, so click close. All right, now, keep in mind that in the picture that you're looking at, the red props are towards you and the green props are towards the front, but on my table, my drone is reversed, it's facing me. And that's because my, I have a very short USB cable here, but I'm gonna turn the drone around so that it's, it's gonna represent the screen. So make sure the drone is facing away from you and make sure the back of the drone's towards you. And then I want you to click reset Z axis. You can see now that the drone is facing away from you just like it is here. If you pitch the drone up, you're gonna see it go up on the screen. If you lift the back end up and pitch it down. And if you rotate it, uh, roll to the left, roll to the right, it should mimic you exactly. So hit reset Z axis. Calibrate accelerometer, that's gonna tell you that it's level. So when you click calibrate, it's gonna automatically level it and, and you're basically telling the system, I am level, actually let me straighten this out too. So Z axis and calibrate. And now it's saying I'm level, okay? So the next thing you wanna do, once you've done this, let's go to ports. Port one is gonna be your S bus port, so turn that on. And port three is gonna be your VTX for smart audio. So we're gonna go out into here to the left side and we're gonna go down to VTX IRC tramp, click that. And don't worry about anything up here right now, just click save and reboot. Okay, we're gonna set up the VTX in another video. Go ahead and click connect again. We still have our warning about the motor protocol. Click close, reset, calibrate. Okay, now we've done ports, let's go to configuration. Nothing here needs to be touched, but on this side, we're gonna turn off barometer, turn off magnetometer. I'm gonna name this drone uh, tank 95-A. Okay, for analog, uh, leave everything else as it is for right now, except when you scroll down to here, I want you to turn on telemetry, and I want you to turn off air mode, and I want you to click save and reboot. Okay, once it reboots, connect again. We still have our message here about the motors. Click close, reset Z axis, calibrate. Now you can see, look at that. All your headings, everything's at zero. Okay, well, okay, now it's at zero. Um, so anyways, so this is perfect. This is looking great. Now we've done ports, we've done configuration. Now what we wanna do is let's head on down to receiver. And in receiver, let's drop down over here. We're gonna drop this menu down until it says serial UART. And we're gonna drop the secondary menu down and we're gonna select S bus, okay? And then from here, depending on how your radio is set up, uh, you may be AETR, but if you happen to find out once you're bound, if this thing starts spinning out of control, then you're gonna probably be TAER. I'm gonna, I know mine is TAER, I believe, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set that now. Then click save and reboot, click connect again. Still have your error message up here. This time we're gonna go down to motors and we're gonna fix that error message, let's reset, let's calibrate, and let's go to motors. And on here, because I want to show you how to use BL Heli properly with this, we're gonna select one shot, one, two, five. Leave everything here like it is. And click save and reboot. Okay, so at this point, we are now done with step one of beta flight. What we're gonna do now is we are going to, um, we are going to stop the video here and uh, get ready to do the uh, binding of our receiver. And then we're going to also get ready to do our BL Heli uh, 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 firmware updates on our, uh, our, our flight controller and ESC combo, our AIO. So there's gonna be a couple steps coming up and then we're gonna set up our sticks and our switches. We're gonna be good to go, okay? So I'll be right back with that next step.